All right, guys, we are back over at Tommy's property. He was able to pick up both of those shipping containers for $6,800 total. And I'm gonna show you guys the process of it actually being on the uh, bed and delivered. Here he has one from prior too. So we're gonna um, see how they're gonna position these. Get it up on that pad, you're gonna have to just commit and go for it so the wheels don't dig in. If you go slowly, it'll so I got a hot ass back here. Yeah. So, so as soon as how far you want it from that container, son? <laughs> as soon as you're lined up, you just go. Here we go. So talking to this guy, he can basically do four windows, a door, completely insulated with an AC unit, uh, 40, 40 foot long, eight foot wide, basically the same size as this one for 20 grand. So basically the rest of the build out would have to be, um, you know, you got your plumbing, you got your flooring, you got your, it's basically gonna be a white box. So interesting, it's another good contact. I thought that this guy was just a delivery driver, but he's uh, he's getting ready to start selling them here in uh, Collier County. skills. Is that just for weight distribution? But I have to put it back, so if I leave it like that, I'll hit this side. I got ya. That's cool. Yeah, these are the 
the tallest ones you can get. Yeah, that's what he said. He said 96 is the tallest. And the other one's eight, so. Yeah. I thought they were like 10 something. I didn't really know them. just because of the soft sand that we had there but talking to this guy he uh, he can supply us with these uh, shipping containers pretty much all day long and deliver them as well which is great um, so I think it could be a, a good contact a good option probably have to get them down in price a little bit but uh, a couple things I learned from the guy too is there's a almost a title tag attached to the uh, to the shipping container he said if it doesn't have them then they're basically stolen and also there is a difference between aluminum shipping containers as well as the the metal uh, i'm still learning more about that but i guess the aluminum that's going to last a lot longer and uh, just better material to work with as well so that's the one that he was quoting about 20 grand four windows a door completely insulated um, and drywalled out so basically a white box so you still have to run your plumbing and all that kind of stuff so pretty interesting I bet you if we can do more of these with this guy he could probably give us a better deal as well um, still waiting to hear back from Bonita uh, Springs building department I'll put that video up um, once that is completed so we can find out the details with um, basically the the uh, rules and and specs and everything associated with it and to make sure 100% that we can put these shipping containers on the property as a livable structure. So I will make sure we bring that video to you guys. And uh, if you like this and like this journey that uh, that I got going here, um, you know, I wanna, wanna show you guys everything because I'm learning all about this whole process of utilizing shipping containers for um, primarily right now I want to put this as a Airbnb property and uh, I'm gonna walk you through that whole situation as well with my uh, vacation rental guy see what he thinks in terms of income and expenses and and to make sure ultimately it makes sense right now the, the properties that I'm looking at they're 1.25 acres in size um, I don't really want to mess with you know having a shipping container next to a nice high-end home so it's really it's going to be wooded around it so it's not going to have an effect on other people's values on of their properties because that's the last thing i want to do is disrupt that because this neighborhood is you know you got homes uh that are over a million bucks in this neighborhood because they built estate sized large homes um, but the lots are not cheap right now so that's the only thing that would slow me down in terms of starting this process immediately is getting the right deal I just went and looked at another property out here for 88,000 but it's wet it's got wetlands on it so just the cost to mitigate it could be upwards of 
40 grand alone and then I'd be all in for 120 just on the the lot and the site prep so anyway if you guys got any value out of this and you want to continue watching these check out the next video I got coming up and uh, thanks for your support Oh,